The offset command is used to create either a duplicate of an object or simply move an object to specified distance. Think of it as being similar to the copy or move commands, but with added functionality that makes drawing easier for certain conditions. In order to illustrate this, once again, I'm going to go to the level two structural plan. Next, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and we're going to do the offset command to this particular beam. Now, to begin with, you always have to select on the object. Once you've done that, you can come up here on the ribbon, and we can find the offset command. The offset command looks like a couple of lines, one with the blue line on the outside of it. Go ahead and select on that. Next, we need to set an offset distance. How far away do we want the copy to be from the original? In this case, I'll go ahead and type in eight feet. I'll move my mouse down until I'm touching the object, and you can see there's a blue dashed line that appears. This is a very vital step. Know wherever that dashed line is showing up at, that's where the copy is going to be placed. For instance, if I wanted it to be on the inside here, make sure that blue dash line is to the inside of this A and B. So go ahead and select when you see that. Now you can see where it goes to. If I had had the blue dash line be on the outside like it is right now, and then clicked, you can see it's eight feet away in this direction from where this beam had been at. Also, the offset command works with this little check mark right here that says copy. So that's the reason why it's making a copy and it's not just moving the object a certain distance. So if I clear out the copy and then still have eight feet in here, I could then move down, highlight the objects I wanna be able to, in this case, move because copy is not checked. And then where that dash line shows up, that object is now moved down eight feet. Now that's kind of an unusual way to go about using the offset command, keeping the, the copy unchecked. Most people still just use the move command to do that. But it is a functionality that's there, and it's something you'll see if somehow the copy command box somehow gets unchecked. One other thing that you can do is that instead of a numerical way of going about this, you can also do a graphical offset. And if you instead do a graphical offset, essentially what it means is you end up selecting on the object and then graphically coming over and specifying on the screen how far over you want it to be. So instead of having that dash line, I picked a point, I'm moving over in this direction, and when I pick my second point, where those dash lines are showing up at, that's where the objects that I'm gonna offset are going to get, in this case, moved to, because I didn't put copy here for this box. So by using offset, we can create a copy of an object a specified distance away and parallel to another object with the same properties.